Hi there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky and this is our friend Bear who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Do you ever see a puppy who needs to be adopted or a homeless dog? Yes, sometimes you do. Well, Arfie is homeless. So he's decided to write letters to people asking if he can be their dog. He's hoping to talk someone into wanting him. Let's put on the magic greeting glasses and see if Arfie can get anyone to say yes. Can I Be Your Dog? by Troy Cummings. Dear people at Yellow House, woof, can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arfie. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. Dear Arfie, we're so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is um, allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search. The Honeywells. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Garfy. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Veronica Shank, butcher. P.S. No hard feelings. Enjoy these dried giblets and good luck finding a home. Nom, nom, nom. Dear fire station number five, can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots. Plus, let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sniffed out every single one on Butternut Street. And yours is the shiniest. Arfie. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Station number five. Dear junkyard guy, I'm not gonna lie, you're my next to last choice. But these past few days have been rough. Rough, rough, rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much, and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfie. Dear Mutt, get lost. Dear last house on Butternut Street, K 
Can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell. But I'm not picky, just lonely. Arfi. Return to sender. Nobody at this address. To Arfi. Dear Arfi, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first-class partner. With hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. Hmm. Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfie. P.S. Woof. Scritch, scratch. Bear's wondering. Do you think Arfi is the right dog for a letter carrier? Some are saying yes. Arfi can even read the envelopes, Bear. Well, do you think Arfi will get enough walks? Many yeses. Bear's asking, someday would you maybe adopt a homeless animal? Hmm. Bear's also hoping you come back soon for more adventures with our animal friends. Bye for now. Please subscribe.